so I grew up in India, in Bombay. And uh, so in, you know, middle school and high school, um, I really wanted to be, uh, my, my passions were maths, physics, art, and I, I really liked writing. Uh, and at one point, I, I wanted to be either a physicist or a writer, uh, which is kind of two very, you know, different things. But it's it's interesting because it's always been like left brain, right brain kind of thing. At some point, my, my mother, who's a very, very intelligent lady, suggested, because her brother's an architect and he worked in a, a city in the south of India called Madras, and she said, why don't you spend a summer in his office and just see what he does? And and so I did. I, I shadowed him for a summer. And it, I thought it was the most fascinating thing because it's like, here, here they, they're kind of using both both those things that excited me. They, they're doing, you know, math and figuring out things. They, there's geometry associated with it. Um, and there's things that uh, that were very creative, and I was also fascinated by this aspect of you know, you draw lines on the paper and it becomes an object and it becomes this thing that you can inhabit. Actually, I can identify it. It was in my second year of architecture school. We had this professor who taught us. He taught the subject called environmental design. And he gave us this design exercise, which was to uh, kind of to design a memorial for someone. And the idea was you have to design it so that the sunlight would enter the building only on his birthday at a certain time. We learned to read sun path diagrams. And that took me on a track of you know, getting excited about building science and passive solar technologies and understanding the elements and climate and how we can design with that. And that's that's kind of been my trajectory ever since then is um, really following that passion. So what I think what I love the most about what I do is, uh, so we bring building science, which is the uh, uh, physics and the science of how buildings work, um, into architecture design. So kind of bridging the gap between art and science, so to speak, and bringing a creative bent of mind to a scientific approach. And so it's this idea of, you know, uh, curiosity, which is the inquiry, and then the rigor and the science that goes into responding to the inquiry. And what we do is we do uh, computer simulations of things like, you know, how the sun hits a building and heat travels through a facade, uh, simulations of how a building uses energy and the carbon footprint or the carbon emissions from that energy. Uh, we do simulations about the materials that we choose to put in a building and the carbon impact of those manufacturing those materials and bringing them to site. We run analysis on how much daylight you get in the building and you know how well lit your spaces will be, how comfortable you're going to be in the thermal environment. So there's a lot of like computer simulations for that. Um, I mean, I, I think I described the pros in terms of like all the exciting stuff that we do. Um, it's also, you know, we're helping, uh, I think, all of our projects be more environmentally sustainable, which I think is a huge pro. Sometimes when you're dealing with, you know, trying to address climate change through reducing the impact, you can get impatient with like wanting to do more you're not going to solve everything, you know, on one project. To me, curiosity is a really, really, really important. It's one of the most important traits in what I do is you got to be curious about things and you've got to have the passion to 
drive that curiosity into wanting to learn about things. But I think when it comes to um, caring about climate change and caring about what happens to our climate, we need to be closer connected to our climate too. You know, if we're sitting in, you know, hermetically sealed air conditioned boxes all the time, we're removed from nature and we care less about what happens to the climate. So figure out what it is that you're passionate about and want to do and do your research on which school is actually the best for it. And it might not always be like the Ivy League school that you th you're thinking about. The one thing I would say is, you know, especially at the beginning of your career, just, you know, don't get hung up on, you know, this job pays more than that job. Think about, you know, what you want to learn. The first at least five years of your career, is, it's really a learning opportunity. Is it is it fun to work at that place? Do you do you want to do you want to get up and go to work every day, or you know, because if if not, then you know no amount of money is going to make up for that.